I'm thinking we'll have some activity. The storms may be more limited, but the rain's going to close in. And right now we're dealing with some areas of fog. It's getting dense in pockets, so that could slow you down in some areas. I'll show you where the trouble spots are currently located. But of course, the main story today will be the rain that's going to arrive a little bit later today. Sunrise 709 this morning and sunset at 750. We'll have the clouds thickening up on us, so we're not going to see much of that sunset. I'm thinking a little bit later today, forecasting a high temp of 75 this morning. So far, we've been as low as 58, but overall our temperatures are right where they should be for this time of year. Downtown Detroit, we're at 60 degrees. I want to point out the visibility. It's at nine miles, 10 we consider normal. So we're close to normal in the city of Detroit, but when you look outside the city, go up to the north here along M59 corridor, US 23, notice these darker shades of gray. That's showing the visibility is dropping to about a quarter mile or less. And notice how patchy it is. So we'll be dealing with this off and on throughout the duration of the morning. Otherwise, as I was mentioning, temps in the mid to upper 50, so a cool start and a foggy start for some of us. So your bus stop forecast shapes up like this. We'll call it cool and foggy. Eventually, once the sunshine gets going, it's going to help disperse a lot of that fog and it's going to clear up at the surface. And then we'll shift our focus and attention, of course, on the rain. It is going to be scattered at first, but it could arrive as early as this afternoon for the kids at the bus stop for the ride home. But I'm thinking the heaviest rain will stay to the north and west of us until late tonight. So even though we have the scattered chances around, the bulk of it should hold off. That gives the temperatures an opportunity to touch the 70s, mid 70s in the city of Detroit. And then after we hit the 70s, how about this setback? We'll struggle to even get there for tomorrow with more rain possible to start the day. 60s for Wednesday and Thursday. Finally, we get the sunshine back towards the weekend and numbers respond back to the 70s.